Um, yeah, look, I suppose didn't expect to get on so early or, you know, when you're on the bench you, you kind of think you know, it'll be a second half before I get the chance to have an impact in the game, but fortunately for me, you know, obviously unfortunately for Bundy, he, he picked up a knock and had to go off, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was unbelievable, you know, the amount of support that we had there, the energy that we felt from the crowd and, you know, to see Japanese nationals with, with the green colour on during our game against Scotland was, was outstanding and you know, the noise that they made for us during the game, after the game, whenever we went to, to thank them in the middle of the pitch was, was exciting. Dave, um, how are you enjoying the, uh, the battle with, uh, with King? You said uh, you are playing some serious ball and you are playing such a good shape. You are in there pushing hard for a starting place. Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, that's a great compliment from Keane. I thought he played excellent the weekend. Um, um, I think that competition right throughout the squad uh, pushes everyone and I think that's what the squad needs if we're to keep progressing in this competition. I think the more lads you have chomping at the bit and giving coaches headaches, the better for Irish rugby. Yeah, uh, we played off it, you know, there was probably a question mark, could we have kept it in and gone for the penalty, but look, we, we went with what we felt on the day. Uh, look, Fiki does a massive amount of work with the front rows, the back five, and to get a, a turnover like that in an international game is huge, and it was a big lift for the whole team. Yeah, that's uh, you know you, we try fit in first, and um, I think all credit to the subs. I thought they did that. They acquitted themselves well when they came on, and the first half performance. I thought the lads put in an excellent shift, especially up front. Um, in set piece and you know around the fringes, the carries, you know, you tied try, the other tries. So I think it was closing out the game by the time we got on, but happy to do it. Well, it's not bad. There really wasn't much thought put into it to be honest. It just you know Jack did unbelievably well. I seen this, the chip space and I called, and then you know Jack just put the little chip kick through and found the kick space despite the pressure that he was under and. Um, Fortunately, it sat up quite nicely for me, and, and Lukey ran a nice line. And you know, looking back at it, maybe I could have stuck it on the toe for Jacob to go down the wing, but you know, Lukey was there in space, so it worked out well. I think all the slagging of us has been, we slag him saying he's a crash ball merchant. He wanted to show a bit of flair, so it's great to do that. <laughs> No matter who's, you know, no matter what combination goes in, we seem to, you know, connect pretty well. And I feel the same with Bundy, or whether that be in training with Robbie, or and across the board, the other boys are the same. You know, I feel like no matter what com combination is, is used, we all, you know, we all know each other's roles so well that we feed off each other and you know, we're very comfortable with no matter no matter who's there.